Call the member for Mitchell. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I want to record the Turnbull government and all members' strong support for Coptic Christians who are in Australia and reflect on some of the incidents we've seen overseas in Egypt that have led to the government announcing yesterday that we will, of course, support Coptic Christians here uh, and ensure that they have visas to remain while a state of emergency exists in Egypt. We've seen, of course, uh, that uh, IS has had increasing attacks uh, on uh, Coptic worshippers at the Monastery of St Samuel the Confessor, and in, uh, killing 28 and injuring 22. Um, we know that just recently, just in the last weekend, we had another brutal attack on a convoy of buses of Christian worshippers uh, moving between uh, churches. And, Madam Deputy Speaker, since 20, February 2017, the so-called Islamic State called on their followers to attack Christians. The Coptic Christians in Egypt represent the last significant uh, a concentration of Christians in the Middle East. A very sad development uh, considering uh, the world's history, Madam Deputy Speaker. The last significant uh, Christian uh, uh, population is now subject to uh, uh, attack from Islamic State and the Australian government stands uh, in, shoulder to shoulder with the Sisi regime in protecting uh, Coptic Christians uh, in the declared state of emergency and uh, the security that they've been providing at churches. And we stand, of course, with those uh, cops here in Australia uh, who have come here on holidays or to study or who have sought protection uh, from Australia and have genuine claims. We will be carefully assessing and reviewing all of those claims. And I have announced uh, yesterday that the government will, uh, uh, of course, re-examine any of those claims in the light of recent developments and updated country information uh, that has come through from the For Department of Foreign Affairs and in Egypt, um, taking into account that Islamic State is now particularly targeting uh, those Coptic Christians in Egypt. Um, I want to acknowledge, of course, the Australian community here, the churches that have lobbied assiduously uh, for us to uh, ensure that anyone here uh, in Australia at the moment is, is carefully assessed and looked after. And uh, I want to, of course, acknowledge the Prime Minister's remarks, um, who, who said, in reflecting on some of this, said that this attack against innocent civilians, including children, is a horrific act of cowardice designed to terrorise and divide. Australia stands united with the Coptic Christians in shared resolve to eradicate the scourge of terrorism. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, Egypt has been in a state of emergency since uh, this began, and it will be another three months, according to the government, uh, for that state of emergency to exist. Um, we are, as you know, working partner and, par and shoulder to shoulder with our partners uh, like the United States uh, to fight and prosecute the war on terror internationally. Uh, we are working domestically to protect Coptic Christians here in Australia and make sure they are not sent into harm's way. Uh, and we'll continue to monitor carefully the situation in Egypt uh, and uh, ensure uh, that we take the appropriate measures from the Australian perspective um, to support this important community and minority in Egypt. I thank the member.